got with me today does say Sony Ericsson at the top, but this will be the first Sony branded Android smartphone to launch in 2012. The design of the Xperia S is quite a departure from the previous Sony Ericsson phones that we've seen. This one comes in a really nice minimal design. It's got a beautiful matte black finish and there's now this really unique illumination strip at the bottom of the phone and this will light up and change colour depending on the interactions of the phone such as messaging or calls. Inside you've got a powerful dual core processor which is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. That means everything runs really smoothly. There is 32 gigabytes of internal memory. That is more than enough for your pictures, videos, games and apps. On top of that you've got a HD resolution display and this display actually has the highest pixel density of any Android smartphone available. To top it all off, Sony have managed to squeeze in a stunning 12 megapixel Exmor R camera and that camera is capable of shooting full HD video. Sony are really stepping up their game and standing out from the crowd with the Xperia S and for me they've covered three really important things an amazing display which is great for browsing the web and using apps, plenty of internal memory for my huge music collection and a stunning 12 megapixel camera for snapping pictures and uploading them.